what is your question? What is the thing that makes you awake in the morning and uh, happy to wake up because you have your question? So energy for me is a very basic thing and clay is a very good material for that to capture, to keep the energy of the maker. So one sentence I like very much is uh, I couldn't feel so I learned to touch. I would say for myself that I don't like to show too much of the emotional. In Africa there was a, a sentence about this. They say the digestion of tears is in the belly means not outside. So at the same time, clay is a philosophical material for me, a material that helps me to think, but also a way to transform emotional life and give it back. Well, I try the material answer something that leads me to maybe some other place, and slowly something happens. I think ceramic activity is very connected to the fact that you know and you don't know at the same time. And you have intuitions in order to start something. I just believe it is we discover when we make and think at the same time. Basically, material is a partner for me. I try to have with my material is the same relationship with people, and especially with people I like. And give and take, which is one action, in fact, where energy is uh, in circulation. For people who believe in God, I think they maybe could define God as energy. Okay. I could say that the connection in between everything that exists is an energetic relationship between men and uh, colleagues, uh, between men and women, between uh, men and nature, between the materials and uh, all, all this, even space. And uh, there is a possibility to dig this for the whole life. And when I go outside of the studio, so I have to discover the space, the culture, and all the tools. So all this push me to go in direction that, in fact, maybe I don't know in advance. You cannot just wait to have your intuition. You have to be active to get that. I just believe it is we discover when we make and think at the same time. And this is a very key point. And then he said, I was like, I knew I wasn't crazy. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs>
The first time I started with large-scale brickworks and I believe that in the memory of the audience it is alive, alive as it is uh, as a physical piece of material. I think you have everything here. You have the process and then you have something happening. The same shape and the same uh, size in the landscape and the same way to dry but this what was inspired me when I first come to Africa and see this kind of landscape scale uh, production with uh, clay uh, with bricks
I went to Africa and worked two and a half years there. And when I came back, for me, very difficult to just take the same shoes that I was wearing before I go to Africa. I was so pleased to see again this technique of bricks making. I found in Africa and that moved my work so in a very important way. Some slight difference between Africa and here. In Africa, no charcoal and a very long process firing. Here is shorter. So because they include charcoal inside the brick. So it means that the fuel is already inside the material. What is the name? And when we are in the site, some people could feel, oh, it's very hard, very heavy, and so on. But the atmosphere of the brickmaker's uh, community is very kind. It's family, family activity. He's the father, the mother, grandmother, children, all working together, including the very small one, help. This is the first time I see so fast, precise, well-made bricks by hand. And suddenly I had the idea, uh, I want to make homage. I want to make homage to the people who make bricks. So usually nobody takes care of these kind of activities. Who cares about a brick? Nobody cares about this. But for, for me, it's ceramic at landscape scale. It comes from ground and becomes a building. So it uh, speaks about the culture, about the nature, it's a connection between nature and culture.
The reason also to make homage is because this kind of activity will disappear. Because it is the same land to take the clay and make bricks with it, and the same land to grow rice or other vegetables. So there is a competition of uh, territories in between farmers and brick makers. is not stopped by the by the death but maybe something continues for all the people who have death in their own family they can feel that still inside something that can give energy. So death of other can give you energy as well. And straw going back to, to nature. You see? This is so amazing. I don't like to say I express myself, but I like to find a way to connect my life and something in the work. I think I try to do something in between what I feel and what is the reality around me. When we spoke about beyond tradition, it's not against tradition. It's uh, how to consider the possibility of doing which at the same time is connected to traditional and traditional can be the skills, can be the material, the tools, uh, all the culture. This is not flat, it is convex. convex. This is very important. When we speak about traditional, which is just copying the face of the tradition, but losing the inside of it. This is a very big mistake because no tradition is just with no change. What we call tradition is something in movement from a moment where the seeds were very energetic at the time it was contemporary of this time. I was very happy after 40 years working with clay there is still ways to discover about existing and there is still way to use it in a new world. So this is for me from traditional which find a way to be contemporary.
little more. A <laughs> little more there, Mota. Yes. It's not a temple to God, but to people. One temple will be the same shape as a kiln, but inside there will be one brick, will be floating in the air. One brick will represent all the bricks. In fact. It's not a concept, it's just want to make homage to some activity in ceramics that changed my work, changed my vision of ceramic, And I can consider that everything is contemporary, including the traditional, including the dying traditional. Actually, I like very much in India. In the people, in the street, uh, in art, uh, in the resources, uh, in heritage. India is a very spiritual country, and for a guy who has no God, I feel a lot of interest in having some kind of uh, meeting points with what I feel about the spirituality in India. So. They're playing the... They don't have mobile phone, but they have fun. So it's nice to see that we can have different bells, not only one. Maybe every people you meet, we meet, every situation we meet, is a possibility for a new birth. We can connect with the heritage, what we are, and transform it. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
So what is important is not what I say, is the light you have. 